Paul himself was quite, quite capable of doing that, but he never did. He abstained from that. He saw two ways before him. One way was to preach in such a manner that he harnessed all the skills of oratory and the wisdom of this world and complex arguments and so on to, uh, well, manipulate minds and to dazzle people into believing in God, to drown them in powerful reasoning. But actually he wouldn't do that. He refrained from that. He took a quite different road, and that was to simply speak about Christ and about salvation and about the new life which everyone needs in Christ. And if anyone had said to the Apostle Paul, but you can't do that, surely you've got to convince people. Before you can tell them about Christ and about salvation, you've got to impress them intellectually. You've got to show them that this is rational, rational and reasonable, that this is a superior point of view. You've got to do it by argumentation and oratorical skill. But the Apostle Paul said no, because he knew otherwise. He knew that if we talk about sin, and if we talk about the need of the soul, and if we talk about Christ and what he has done and the way of salvation, then there is a power in that which is vastly greater than any emotional power or persuasive power of pure human reasoning. He knew that the power of God and the power of spirit is with the simple explanation of the way of salvation. And that's what he says here. Verse 1, And I, brethren, when I came to you, you'll remember this, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, worldly wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Listen to his policy. For I determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Not surprisingly, the previous place he'd preached at just before coming to Corinth, he'd been taken and cruelly beaten and terribly ill-treated. And naturally, he was a shy person, it turns out. This uh, king of all missionaries was a shy man. I was with you in weakness. He was a sick man and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. And listen, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God. Absolutely no use at all, just employing skillful oratory. If I could do that, and if I could present such a speech and such arguments with such compelling logic and power that you were all persuaded to believe in Christ, it wouldn't do any good at all if that persuasion and that convincing of you was achieved only by earthly means. No, what's required is that the Spirit of God should apply the message of the gospel to individual hearts so that we truly repent and we come to Christ and we find him and then there is real conversion and there is real power. The Apostle Paul knew exactly what he was doing. 